Yep, but let us know about station. This is Out 179. Your Dirty J. Nick Slides. Got the radio. Trapping out the trap house. You know how we get it popping. You know what I'm saying? It's a fan reunion. I ain't seen her since <laughs> probably 2022 earliest. 2023, the new year. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Lotto was in the bed. I told y'all she was here. Big Lotto. Come on now. The big. Now, you look, I got a whole thing of questions I'm that, I, that, I, I'm um, that I had looked up and stuff like okay, that. Okay. So tell me what happened when you almost fell on stage in that green outfit. What oh happened? Oh, my God. Um, what okay. show was that? You know what? I waited till it was um, live television uh-huh. with Miley Cyrus That's for the I'm New saying. Year's countdown on NBC. On NBC to trip for the first time. Not, not no, look, not no look would channel. You do that? Why would you but do what that? What happened? Did you just twist okay. wrong or what? You know what? <clears throat> <laughs> I'm finna blame it on the uh, stage manager. <laughs> oh man, cut your mess. No, look, he jinxed me though. Right before I went out, he say, uh, "Be careful, you know, we trying to keep the stage dry, but we in Miami, the humidity, whatever, it's uh-huh. a little slippery. Be safe." I had on a little one and a half inch heels, still. I know that. I thought they was in kitty heels. Yeah. I'm like, why she got these auntie grandma <laughs> kitty heels? She she was trying not to fall. Heels on too, and, and you still, still slipping and sliding. So so what did what went through your mind? Like how did how hard did your did your heart like, beat fast? Oh like, we, oh we, ooh. we. It was it was beating out my uh little uh, green jumpsuit for <laughs> the rest baby, of that little, your little thing. baby jumpsuit. Yeah, it was beating out my chest, but I was like, well, I caught myself, so you know. Could, could nobody tell? I didn't see it until I saw your Instagram. I was like, yeah. oh, she did fail. I thought. Well, you I didn't know, know you got to be ahead of it before yeah. they try to clown you. You just got to go ahead and just. Well, say you it. did a good job. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you did a good job. So look, so my question, Molly Cyrus, uh-huh. coming from Clayco yeah. and Paris Hilton, do they know you ghetto? Yeah, them your friends and they yeah. know you ghetto. Yeah, because they you like, like it, you about their color, they but like you ain't their color though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just trying to say, you know, how sometimes no, you can be like, she like me. No, she ain't. Yeah, she from Clayco. They like it though. They like the ghetto. They like it. Yeah. So what is it like hanging with them? Like, could you fathom that? Like, you know what I'm saying? From being on a rap game or just being I be a legit struck all the time. Crazy. Jay. I be walking in. I be like, dang. Like, I don't think nobody from Clayco ever even did these things I'm doing. So yeah. It's so it's it, is it overwhelming though sometimes? Oh yeah, it get overwhelming sometimes cuz you know, these things I, I I tried to prep for. I've been rapping since I was 8 years old. I, I thought I was prepping for it, but when it's that time, it's that time. It's right. like you can't you can't prepare for something like that. You just got to keep going. Yeah, you work. can't prepare for no Grammy, no. Come on, man. Come wait a minute, wait a minute. Not not one Grammy, not two times Grammy nine maybe. Not it's two times, but two you know times. What I'm okay, yeah. let's keep going. Let's let's start yeah. cuz we we like skin. We find it a motherfucker. <laughs> um uh big energy, Mariah Carey number one pop, number one urban. Yeah. Stop playing. Yeah. How does that feel Making like coming history. from the A-town? And a Man, rap, rap it's shit. It's big. It, this like dreams for me. This dreams for me. And I'm so grateful and like just on a high. Like they be like, Lotto, you always look high. I be like, I don't be high. I should be high. I'll be life. What are you talking about? I be high off life. So let me ask you a question. So, first of all, congratulations. Seven years. Rap game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You. Seven Thank years. You. Don't, I feel old now. Don't say it like don't, that. You don't say it like don't that. I feel like old. That. I was on that episode. <laughs> hey, you talking about? I think so. I was on one of them episodes. <laughs> you was. Yeah, that don't say you're old. No, we getting ooh, better. Wee, ooh, okay, wee. the older the better, the sweeter the juice. Okay, Dang, it's gonna be ten years. <laughs> Come on, man, chill out. Yeah, I'm I'm big forty now. For How real? you feel? Yeah. Oh, my daddy just turned forty. Cut it out. Ah! No, don't do me like that. No, don't do me like that, man. Not to have no 24 year old. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? But look, so how's your mental health? Because I know mental yeah. health is big. How are you doing personally? I'm good. Um, I'm learning, navigating. It's hard. Um, you know, I just turned 24, so it's like not even trying to use that as an excuse, but I don't, I don't got everything down pat. You know what I'm saying? I'm still living and learning myself. So it's like, I'm growing as an artist, but at the same time as a woman. So I be having to, um, figure, figure it out sometimes. And I bump my head a lot and I don't listen and I learn later. Right. You know, but that's just a part of it. I think you do a pretty good job, though, because I, I see Thank a lot you. of things that happen tell, in the tell media. Tell my team that yeah, so they can I, stop I, Yeah, I'll me. get to you. I can say, like, you, I mean, you from Clayco, so it's only so much poking yeah, you're going to do. you know it's only so much poking you're going to do. That's why I just, I be like, hey. So how do you how do you hold on to it? Because I know you you a firecracker, so, like, mm-hmm. different things in the media. I ain't got to bring up no names, but yeah, different yeah. things in the media, different people saying it, different people uh-huh. saying it. How do you deal with you not responding. Like, I feel yeah. like that's the best thing to do with me, the most I'm, professional thing to do. It's the most professional thing to do. It's the most beneficial thing to do for for your sanity, for for your career. Um, I think I think I'm think i just now learning how to not say stuff. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm putting it in the music, so that helps. I don't, I don't tweet back, but I be going to the studio and I, I might drop a little bar about some. Okay. Know? 
Do, oh. do those bars ever come out or are they just... Oh, they're coming. Like, uh, <laughs> they coming. New project, they coming? Yeah, so yeah, So I just need to listen coming. real closely. Yeah, yeah. What song I'm do I... I'm addressing it in the music from now on. I ain't, I ain't putting nothing else on Twitter. You that's, ain't got nothing to say. You ain't got no action for I don't got nothing to say if y'all ain't giving me a stream. I need something about of it more than the uh, Shay Room headline. Hey, you talking about? Hey, you talking about? So, so tell me this. Like, how, are you, how do you consistently dodge uh-huh. your relationship status? Everybody wants to know. It, ain't it? Man, smooth, smooth criminal, it, Michael Jackson, oh, smooth. Smooth with it, ain't it? Like how? Um, this gonna sound so Tell like the truth. this gonna sound so um cliche, mm-hmm. but it's the truth. Like everything about my life is to be picked apart by social media, right? And and uh, gotta gotta hear everybody's two cents, opinions on something that don't got nothing to do with them. I'm I'm in a real relationship, right. not not like PR stunts. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to protect it. That's right. all. That's that's. I hope a girl yeah. protect my relationship. Ah, I just want to protect it. Come that's on, all. man. That's that's a, that was a really good professional <laughs> situation you just yeah, here right there. You know? So so let me let me ask this. I had wrote down a bar. Let me look. Uh-huh. Everything but my body count. Everything big but my body count. Yeah. So you ain't go through no whole phase. Cause why girls <laughs> always now? I'm just asking because see, I'm I'm learning things because you know I'm getting older. But uh-huh. I you know older women be like I went through a whole phase. You know because yeah. the old hoes are trying to be yeah. want to get married now. I Is remember you back thing? in 112 days, and I'm envisioning BMF was around. I ain't really oh trying to. God. I'm saying, is that is that real? Is that do women go through is, whole phases? Is the whole phase a real thing? I don't know. I don't know. know. I, that's debatable to me. Is so, the whole phase a real thing? Um, but that wasn't that wasn't a that was just a um a little bar. That was a little response to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, you know that was just okay, like, okay, okay. They was they was saying something. I was like, whoa, let me clear the air real quick. Big lotto, everything Come on. big except the body count. Come on, stop yeah, playing. Still got them bars now. Sit down. You have yeah. to remind them folks. You still yeah, got them bars. Every now and then you got to. So I recently seen an interview. Yeah. Mm. And um, you had said, um, uh, every time is nothing. What every interview was? Is- what interview was that? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I feel like you're an adult now, so it's time for us to have this conversation. <laughs> Clearly, you don't have any kids, so you're using uh, protection. Yeah, I don't want no kids yet. Okay. I don't want no kids yet, but, um, yeah. You just when, have, you, when it's you, yours, you please your you mind. Just, you please your yeah, man. Yeah, when it's yours, you can go crazy. So you encourage all the women to, you know what I'm saying, go crazy with their man? If it's yours. If it's yours. You got to make sure that's yours. Mm. If it's yours, go crazy. So, if he, uh, you know what I'm saying, I got the vet. I got the lamb, I got the Birkins, you mm. know what I'm saying? I got I got the heart. Okay. I don't, I don't pay no bills. You oh. know what I'm saying? If he coming like that, then yeah. Wait a minute, you don't you big loud on you don't pay no bills. I don't pay no bills. Mm. Mm-mm. So you just stacking all that cheese. Yeah. Come on, man. Twenty four and rich. Come on, stop playing. You know what I'm saying? If he coming right, and he coming right. Okay. Then you can <laughs> I ain't mad about that. So you're the last of the real hairs. I see you getting your hair done. How, how is it keeping up with natural hair? You know oh what I'm saying? Because a lot of these girls, they be losing their edges because they yeah. got these bad beauticians. Yeah, I was and, losing my edges too. Okay, and then what happened? What, what blessed you? Did I, I you pray? To, um, <laughs> what you use now? A miracle growth? What you got? Because them um, edges are thick now, girl. Shout out to uh, Kaleidoscope. Come on uh, now. Y'all can come through with the uh, with the check too. Okay. Um, That's Big I Judy, ain't it? Little ain't that Judy? Uh-huh. Okay, on, Judy. Judy. Hey, Brad. Brad, yo. Yo, come on now. <laughs> Nah, I was using the kaleidoscope. I ain't gonna lie, I was using it. And gave you the business. And, it, and my edges come they coming back. I was um taking hair vitamins too. But I, I had stopped wearing the wigs, not even just because of that, just because I was like, you know what? I don't wanna blend in. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. I think natural hair is beautiful. It looks good on you. I mean it takes it takes some time though that it do. to maintain. It do. And um you gotta worry about heat damage and a whole bunch of stuff you don't know about. But I think that I think more black women just need to just embrace to it, right? Yeah. yeah, the natural. Yeah. I think we getting on that though. I think we getting back in a, this natural era anyway. So I love to see it. So Coachella coming up. Coachella, Ooh, Lotto Chella. Lotto hey, Chella. Yeah, What's going Lotto on? Chella, that's big. What I that set looking lie. like, man? Ooh, we putting it together right now. Come on now. I'm coming crazy. I'm getting like a whole new um like stage design and um new video content, everything. So it's gonna be like a fresh experience. Mm. So even if you've seen Lotto show before. So it ain't going to be like birthday bash in the red, hot exactly, red Lotto. Nah. It ain't hot, it ain't nah, hot lemon pepper, nah, hot, hot Cheeto, nah, hot sauce nah, Lotto. Nah, okay. nah, nah. What color you wearing? You got color yet? I do. You don't want to leak it? I can't. Okay. I, it's, I it's a whole new aesthetic. Like, it's a whole mm. new brand. Experience. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about this, man. Your relationship with DJ Vine. That's your mm-hmm. dog. That's I, my I dog. see so many artists, man, just do yeah. not hold the DJ down. Yeah. And I got to give you props to that because I've seen him with you since the beginning. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So what is that relationship like? I know it's like a brother and sister relationship. It's a brother and sister. It's best friend. Like um, the energy on stage is unmatched. Me and Vaughn, I met Vaughn. Vaughn like uh, maybe a year or two younger than me. 
Mm -hmm. I met Von probably I was like 13 and that been my dog ever since like we really best friends off stage so that energy just you can see it on stage and we got a vibe like no other like he gassed me up like I gotta hear him Big Lotto introducing like that gassed me up yeah Yeah, he more than a DJ like he, he got input on how my show should go um, he be um hitting the hitting the pyro and mm-hmm. like you know oh, yeah. he do all that yeah you trust him with the pyro yeah oh, that got to be your friend well then. you know what right right now he in the doghouse because Uh-oh. he was spraying me in the face with the pyro so that's a problem yeah yeah you can't burn the face you can't yeah, Michael you Jackson can't. the face on, now. now you can't Michael Jackson Lotto <laughs> now you can't Mike Jack Lotto <laughs> I, I mean you know the, you seen the Pepsi commercial well I ain't really see it I seen it on on a, on a, you know what I mean. I know about Lotto and DJ Bond. <laughs> you don't know nothing about Mike. I don't okay. know. I don't uh, know. Just, what just making sure. Just try to see what's going on. So look, um, you still eating chicken in the strip club, man. When you gonna stop being a, you know what I'm saying, being like that? Never. I, can't. I love the booty club and I love me a good lemon pepper uh sprinkle. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Extra crispy. I can't. I don't think they understand it in the South that you they can don't. actually have ass, money, and food and all in the same area and it's what? okay. What? What? Even doing it is okay. Even doing they ain't never got us yeah, coronavirus. You can slap the booty and then pick Come up on, a and wing. They ain't never it's got okay. us. And they never got us coronavirus. Exactly. You know like, what I'm saying? They, they worry about the wrong thing. I'm just saying. Coronavirus <laughs> spread like crazy. We ain't never got coronavirus in Magic City. I, I don't Blue know. flame. I don't know. Struggles. I'm just I'm, saying my experience. I'm saying my experience. Okay. I you ain't say never. Your yeah. I say my experience. Well, well tell, me, tell me your experience. <laughs> I don't know about none of that. <laughs> I'm just saying you can you can in Atlanta it's okay you can you know what I'm saying smack some then eat some it's, okay it's nothing. So I heard you a pretty good therapist too, man. I really? had the chance to interview uh, Twenty One Hero and he said you are his therapist for real. Yeah, he said you do a good job of just telling him when he throw it off because we were just talking how yeah. wild he was and I always tell him like I always pull the young cats to the side. Yeah. I, I was always going to be that big brother that's never going to hold my tongue if I see you doing something wrong. With you. Uh-huh. I'm going to tell you regardless yeah, whether you yeah. take it or not. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's my duty to say it. Yeah. So Maybe I, that's where I get the little therapist thing from. Yeah. Because I, I don't be like, oh, yo, let me holla at you. Yeah. It don't be nothing like that. It just be like, if I see something and, and I and I mess with you, right. I'm going to be like, hey, um, I think you should do this. Right. Or, you know what I'm saying? I might have an idea and I'd be like, ooh, this will be fine. I'm going to tell them. Yeah. Okay. So being born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, I started something called free code therapy. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a therapist, but I practice a little bit sometimes okay. in the hood. Okay. Okay. With my kids too, because they crazy. Oh my God. Okay. I'm listening. So um he always talked about this free code song. You 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 was on it. Yeah, yeah. You know, he he spoke about a lot of strip clubs, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Which one got them ratchet bitches and uh-huh. he'll still fuck them bitches. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so tell me your experience in the strip club and what strip clubs you like when I say the name of the strip club. Okay. What do you think of? Allure. Um, classy. Um, if I want to go flex on my on my upper echelon vibes, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, we gonna go to Allure. Okay, less a little bougie. Yeah, it's like, yeah, a little bougie. Okay, yeah, a little bougie. Okay, so yeah. what about Magic City? That give me like I'm stunting. I wanna I wanna be on my Atlanta like you know what I'm saying. A town for real. Original like yeah, A town like I went to Magic for my birthday. Okay, I you seen know that. What I'm so it's like. What did, you do? what did you do that to those ladies? I turned 24, so I had to throw a little 24. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I need to go pick up my uh, my back in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Just a little light. Just a well, little, little light 24. You don't yeah. see that 24, 20% of 24. That's, that's some cheese. Ooh. You dig? You know what I'm saying? I got to go see what's going on over there. Blue Flame. Um, West Side. Fun. Ratchet. Uh, I'm bringing security for you. <laughs> I'm bringing security. Allure and um, Magic. I, I might have security. It might just be game. Okay. Uh, we going to um, Blue Flame. It's going to be uh, security. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Lil Hero said Diamonds. He said they know all them hoes. They said they used to sleep with them hoes when they was little. Oh my so what God. about Diamonds? He did. It's, oh on, it's on camera. So what about Diamonds? Um, You know what? Diamonds scared me because... Um, you know, T Pain got that song, um, fell in love with a stripper. Stripper, okay. The stripper fell in love with me and that, and mm. I got kind of scared. Mm. What happened? I just, I was like, you know what? I don't know if I'm ready for this. She and was just, just too touchy feely, just too. Yeah, I got scared. Too, just trying, what well, she, she was trying to make you lesbian or something? Like, just like, just yeah, own she you, was just like, like oh, I'm going to bring you home. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> please, oh. please, security. Oh, help, help <laughs> me. <laughs> Please. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't Please. been a diamond six. Oh my goodness. You about, you, we gonna find her name because they gonna I, fire her I, ass. I that talking that music, she scared me. Because she was life, on your though. ass, huh? I, I was scared. I was like, whoa. I ain't ready. I ain't ready for all that. She was pushing up on me, too. So, what's the craziest thing that happened to you since you've been on the road? Like, that made you be like, almost go back to Clayco? 
They almost um, made you be like, go click, you know go take what? the jewelry off, you know pull your what? hurt back, and, and whoop some ass. Bond probably don't want me to tell him this. Come on. Let me tell you this. But um, on the Lizzo tour, this man had got drunk, mm. and he threw a, like a plate of wings and fries with ranch. Mm. With ranch at, on it. At, at Vaughn on stage before I came out. So they, they run back there. They like, um, yo, da da da. They talking to all the gang. They like, da da da. Just da 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 da. We got to go check this out. And I'm back there like, I'm finna get out the show. I'm finna, what, I'm what's finna wrong? put on like, my let, let's like, go. Who did what to my brother? They, yeah, it wasn't nothing though. The guy was just drunk and he was, uh, yeah, I'm thinking somebody really trying to press the issue. Yeah, you can't throw no wings though. That's just that's almost like spit. Yeah, right. That's too, that's, especially if you're fresh. Right. That's too much I'm liquid like, going on over here on my, on, my, yeah. on, my, on my situation over here. They, yeah, he was just having a good time. We had to just. He got he got kicked out the uh, concert. Though, okay, so. well I'm glad I'm glad that's all blessed. So <laughs> tell me what's going on, man. What we doing for 2023? Big things, oh big things God. planned. What, what um, we got planned on? I got I got more pop songs on the way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't letting up off of that world. They shouldn't have let me in that world because I ain't letting up now. I'm like, oh y'all like me over here too? Oh, okay, say less. This got me to the Grammys. Say less. Um, so you got to do two albums now, then? Yeah, right. Oh, okay, now you got to do two you know albums now. I might I might just have to. Um, we got more freestyles because I don't want y'all to forget. You know, my foot always on next. Um, we got we got big features. I'm on the big screen this mm. year. Uh, magazine covers come everything. On now. Come everything. on now. I mean, I'm on my business stuff this year. I'm gonna be launching my brand and stuff. So yeah. Come on now. I'm proud of you. Gonna yeah. be you gonna do some Rihanna Fenty stuff yeah, with your you know own what I'm line. Shout out to get your skim she, on. Big big inspiration. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna get my skim on. I ain't mad, man. I'm de- I'm definitely proud of you, and I, I have to salute you because you still do radio. Like I feel yeah. like a lot of artists get big yeah, and do they radio. Yeah, forget. You know yeah. what? I ain't gonna lie. Um, radio have been a big part of my success, mm. and I'm very keen on like. Just using the same blueprint that got me here. It, it, it's not too difficult. Like, people make it. Like, show love to the DJs. They supporting you. They playing your stuff. Mm. Radio, they supporting you. They playing your stuff. I'm I'm always going to be hometown. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the city. I ain't going to be here for long. Let me go tap in. Right. For sure, for sure. So how, how do you continue pushing through, like, just through all the success? Like, how where, where do you get your drive from? Because I feel like a lot of people lack that. Mm. And um, how do you just, the days you don't feel like doing it, you just like, yeah. oh, I don't feel like getting out of bed. But you know you got to. Like, what do you do? What's your routine? What do you tell well, yourself? Well, this is where they be messing up at. Mm, come on. I'm, I'm very motivated off of people telling me what I can't do mm. and hating on me. I love to prove people wrong and mm. make them eat their words. So, so we turn the negative into positive. They probably stop hating on me. If mm. they want me to let up, they should probably stop hating because that's one of my biggest motivations. Like, I wake up, scroll, see, see some like trolling comment going viral, and I be like, Oh, y'all didn't forget. Mm. Okay, let me remind y'all. So that be that really be a lot of my motivation. I come from a good household. Like both my parents hustlers. Didn't go to college. I watched them. Um, we was in apartments when we first moved to Atlanta. We were in apartments eating ramen noodles. Then we got our first house. Like I, I watched them like build this from the ground up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then we moved to the suburbs. Like I, I, I watched them work for what they got. So I'm a firm believer in you. Just gotta work and be consistent. Mm. And pray. Come on now. Pray. Don't don't forget the prayers. Like I I work hard, but I also pray hard. Oh, for sure. So give my players one more game. The fathers out there that's not in their kids' life. How is it important for a man to be in their child's oh life? Come God. on, t- talk to me about that one. Oh my God. Y'all gotta y'all gotta um be present in y'all kids' lives. Um I think my daddy had the biggest influence on me. I was such a daddy's girl and he just instilled a lot of things in me that I couldn't have learned from nobody but my daddy, you know what I'm saying? So Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, uh, it's, it's never been cool to be dead, be like, hey, that ain't cool, that mm. ain't the move. Um, y'all gotta be present, y'all gotta be present. For sure, for sure. Well, I definitely appreciate you, man. I'm looking yeah. forward to everything, new yeah. music, new album, all that it's, good stuff. It's coming. Movies, it's coming. let's talk about it, guys. Movies. 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 Big screen, Tyler Perry, yeah. gotta come a little harder. <laughs> let's go.